guys are coming out, I, I just wanted to make some general remarks. One of the ways that people deal with art is by categorizing it. And that leads me to a word that often pops up in talking with Ford and in reading things that he's written over the years, ambiguity. That art is essentially ambiguous. I was really fascinated by the symbolists and how uh, they espouse the notion of ambiguity because for me there were no absolutes. Anything that I put in that work of art has no more validity than anything you might see in it. So um, depending on your gender, your culture, how you were raised, you might see something totally different. I love the idea that there's no specific meaning or idea to any of these in my work in general and to a lot of the work I feel very strongly about. An artist uh, can create an, a work of art with a glance. The idea of beauty, it's not a sentimental idea, it's not a stereotyped idea. I think that many of the works in, in this show are, are, are beautiful in surprising ways. You know, somehow I have this expression that I've really grown to love, I hope it's not self-indulgent. Does a work of art sing to you? So the question uh, uh, that I'm interested in, in looking specifically at, at particular works in this show, is how a figure appears, or the possibility of a figure. What happens to make that, to take you out of the, that, the usual realm that you're in of, of uh, the, a play, a field of symbols playing with and against and, and around each other that are ambiguous, open to all sorts of uh, interpretations. How I would paint the process was more important than anything I tried to uh, specifically um, create. I've said this a lot of times that you, are, I, I think with a lot of painters, you almost sometimes can detach yourself from what you're doing. It's almost like an out-of-body experience. And I'd think, oh, I have a certain idea of where I want to go with this. But it's like, no, my hand wants to go over here and you just have to follow that. Painting's still about painting, and it's about what paint does. Something has to be universal in that. There, there's an, for me, art that really works is intensely per personal, but it, ha it has this archetypal sensibility. You, you, you try to say something about the ultimately unsayable. I always said years ago that my painting was way ahead of me in terms of who I am. Um, I would finish a painting and I, I would be unsure of it. Uh, and, and yet I knew there was something valid and important about it. And a lot of times with uh, works of art, if I'm not sure about something, I'll put it away for a while. It's like it had a mind or soul of its own. I think that's where you can get into that idea of transcendence. Because they were so far ahead of my consciousness and where I was, what I was thinking at the time. It's like, how do I do this? How do these, how do these works of art just appear magically and they, they get me and <laughs> where I'm going down the road without me intending it? And I, how it was translated, how it was developed and, and came to fruition was completely arbitrary and uh, um, I had no control over it really. Other than I followed the way I made a mark in that. <laughs>